The PO Show is brought to you by Kel Chaco, Kel 360, and Kel Kids Toothpaste. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Kel Toothpaste PO Show. As always, we celebrate phenomenal ladies right here. There's this, is he the, still the African richest man? Aliko Dangote, I'm sure you know him. He once said that to build a good business, you must start small and then dream big. So it's about dreaming big and starting small. And I'm giving you a double dose of discovery for today. You know why? There are two beautiful ladies who have started small, yet have big dreams. Right after the break, we'll get talking. Then you know why they deserve to be celebrated as phenomenal ladies. I am MFA Apau, and this is the Kel Toothpaste PL Show, proudly brought to you by Kel Chuckle Toothpaste, Kel 360, and Kel Kids. With Kel, we always have a happy smile. I know most of you are talking about my outfit for today. As always, it's brought to you by Cafe Clothing. You can contact them uh, for your beautiful outfit for all locations as well. They're on all social media platforms. Please stay with us. You're right back. <music> Mommy. Mommy Josie. Ah, fe fe fe. Ah. Mm. <laughs> Different era better result. Time has changed and time has brought Kel Chaco Toothpaste, healthy gums, anti-cavity, fresher breath and it whitens teeth. Kel Chaco Toothpaste, Sankofa, Yenchi, Kel Chaco Toothpaste, Happy, Happy Smile. smile. Welcome back from the break. This is the Kill to Pace PO show. And I promise you a double dose of discovery for today. And our very first discovery, um, during I, my scouting for African print bags, you know, most of the time you would find African print bags, but it's just normal. There's no glam, they're finishing, there are issues with it, but in my quest to get the best, I found Trudy Arts and Crafts. And thankfully today in the seat with me on the PO show is the CEO, the founder and owner of Trudy Arts and Crafts, Gertrude Akusia Aomi. Welcome to the Kel Toothpaste PO show. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Beautiful dress you have there. I'm told you, you sketched that yes. too. Tell us a bit about it. I'm a proud textile artist. I'm a creative. So even though I'm making bags now, I'm a stylist. I, I take so much interest in fashion mm -hmm. and textiles. So anything textile and fashion bound, you see me there. Let's talk about the journey to starting Trudy Art and Crafts. How has it been? It's been a worthwhile journey. Um, I started five years ago and mm -hmm. I'm so excited about the journey. I owe it all to God and share determination and hard work. The journey started back on campus. I K studied UST? No, okay. Takradi Technical okay. University. I'm a proud, proud alumni. Yeah. If you're an art person or a craft person, the school brings bare your skills. And I'm grateful to have gone there to study textile design and technology. And in studying that, I graduated as the best female student from my faculty. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and then I topped my class. But then somebody will ask, so if you had all these intellectuals, why are you so crafty? Because people have this notion that um, being crafty means you didn't do so well intellectually. That's why you're being crafty. But I, I set myself aside to debunk that idea or that notion. And here I am today. So in my final year on campus, I realized I wasn't cut out to, to do routines. I'm, I'm, an, I'm an artist, I'm a creative, so I want to be, born to be free. Exactly, to create in your own space and understand certain things in your own space. So then my project work was making bags out of um, woven banana fiber. In doing that, I realized that there are a lot of interesting things in nature that can be brought into our daily lives, like bags. 
But then again, um, before I graduated, I went to the art center for an internship. And I realized these guys at the art center were doing so many interesting things with our usual African print, but then they give it a different identity. So I got closer to them, learning how to mold back. Sometimes I intentionally go there just to iron for them and vibe with the guys so that I pick on their intelligence and creativity. So combining that conception from the art center and then my project work from school brought through the art and craft. It's a good time to take us to the Kel 360 um, segment. Is the 360 segment brought to you by Kel 360 toothpaste, giving you that fresh minty breath all day, safe and affordable for use of the entire family. Kel is a happy smile. Let's do 360 of Gertrude. Trudy Arts and Craft is an indigenous Ghanaian business that deals in the production of all kinds of bags from the scratch. The company produces handmade bags using leather, authentic African wax prints and jute to make friendly bags ranging from backpacks, travel bags, instrument cases, amongst others. Gertrude Akosia Awumi attended Infantiman Girls Senior High School before proceeding to the Takradi Technical University where she was awarded Best Graduating Female Student from the Faculty of Applied Arts and Technology. Trudy was part of the five finalists for last year's Sunlight Ghana Shiro competition, an award designed to celebrate women who want to do more for their communities. Well, so I see that um, you were the finalist also for the Shiro's. Maybe we should talk a bit about it. Well, what was it about? It was an award scheme um, set out to celebrate women who were doing exceptionally well in their communities and bringing others along. Oh, okay. Congratulations Thank once you. again. Let's talk about that five years since um, the inception of Trudy Art and Craft. So the journey, as I mentioned, has been worthwhile. In the, in the world wildness there is a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. I said there is and not there was because as the it's days so, come yeah. by, every day new challenges spring forth. And for my first two, three years were, should I say discovery years, where I get to, because I didn't learn this in school. I, I'm a textile artist. I read pure textile design and technology. So it means there's no sewing in there. There's no bag making in there. This is born typically out of my interest. So my okay. first three years were basically for discovering who I can be aside what I studied in school. So I make mistakes, I learn, I make, I make a bag, I make mistakes, I improve. So if you go through my archives for my bags, mm -hmm. you realize that there have been constant consistency of improvement. And that is what has molded me into the founder and creative director I call myself today. There are those who think that why do I need a bag? I can carry my, what, what exactly do I, especially men, it's like, why, why do I need a bag? Bags are for, are for women. So let's talk about the importance, the role bags play, for instance, in the whole fashion sense. Fashion is basically an aesthetically appealing field of appearance or what you put on. Mm. But then first and foremost, the first things we look at when we talk about fashion is dresses. But when you take away the dresses, the second most important visible accessory to our fashion sense are bags. Mm. And bags are functional and they are aesthetically appealing to the eyes. And a bag can equally complement or undo your whole appearance. Mm. So I feel bags are that extra touch, extra feature that you add to your appearance, your outfit to complete it in a, in a whole. You know, the first that catches my eyes the the waist bags mm -hmm. because it's like easy going mm -hmm. you can always you know uh, take it along wherever you go so let's talk about the waist bag this is a unisex product and then this is a free hands mm -hmm. bag you can decide to wear it here yeah but the essence you can just hang it like exactly that. but okay. the essence is on the waist or mm -hmm. across the body so mm -hmm. some people call it cross, cross body. body so it's a hands-free bag that helps you carry your necessary essentials so for a product like this when you're hanging out going to the parties and the nightclubs you can probably just carry it along and not feel or look bulky because this is minimalistic but then it gives you a statement as a person and i see the laptop bags yes wow and so let's talk about the inspiration for this one. 
personally, I like a lot of comfortable but very nice things. Mm. So I've channeled that quality, that my personal quality into the business. So I make sure that whatever bag I make, first and foremost, the bag is functional and then it's aesthetically pleasing to the eyes. Most of the times, the normal laptop bags, you see that the fabric is just one at the front mm -hmm. or it's just an entire leather bag. But I wanted to bring a bit of variation. I wanted to bring a bit of myself into what I sell. People okay. buy bags and they can't use it at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You should buy a bag for the functionality sake. Why am I buying it? Is it going to carry my laptop? When my laptop drops, will it protect it? Those are the things I consider. Because it looks like it's padded. Exactly. Heavily with, padded. With foam. Okay. There's no way you put your tablet or laptop in this bag and it falls, you pick it with a crack. Unless it is a severe fall from a very high height. And then we have the mini school bag. Yes. Wow. Interesting. So let's talk about this one also. I like to be very comfortable. If you check the strap of this backpack, mm -hmm. it's equally padded. This is a bag you wear on your back and mm -hmm. your shoulders carry the weight. Mm -hmm. So it means your shoulders should relax from all the hours you'll be carrying the bag. And okay. then there is a firm grip handle for you to hold. This is a mini bag for, for children. You know, children, they are petty with a lot of things. So I have um, a side net for their water bottles mm -hmm. and maybe pens. And then there are two chambers to hold their books and other many things they would want to go to school with. This one is not just for children. No? <laughs> <laughs> and then right in front of you there, I see red, which yes. is for attractive. Season. And that's a, a purse. Yes. Okay. Wow. So this goes with anything, Even right? what you're wearing. And it has a lot of um, compartments yes, as well you can open for your, your wallet. Your card, a section for your coins, a section mm -hmm. for your paper. So this is a section for the coins. Exactly. Oh, wow. That's interesting. How challenging is this uh, particular industry i'm tailoring the challenges to my personal experience mm -hmm. in business for the past five years mm -hmm. and so i would say that there have been a mammoth of challenges compared to how easy it comes i say that because one time i received a call hello and i picked up can you give the person at the end of the call is telling me can i give the phone to my boss so the fact that he heard a lady's voice and realizing the kind of product he's, he probably saw on IG or wherever he saw it, he feels a guy or a man should be the brain behind it. So immediately I picked, give the phone to your boss. And I told him, I'm the boss. I'm the face behind the brand. So one challenge is that people feel as a woman, you are limited. You are limited in terms of ideas. You are limited in terms of strength. But I feel power and strength comes from the mind. When you have a, a strong mind game as a woman, there's no place you can't enter. There's no feet you can't choke. Mm -hmm. So that's my number one challenge. And I'm glad now people are beginning to accept me for who I am, that I am the woman who is doing things that usually men do, and I'm proud of it. And then the second challenge would also be getting materials in the market. There is no consistency with availability of materials in our local markets and that has also been a very big challenge over the years what has been the response you say it's been encouraging and um, i'm proud to say today that i come from a very acceptive family thanks to my parents reverend doctor and mrs Saumi, and my big sister Vicentia, with her husband they've been so supportive along with the entire family and my friend zone i believe so much in the visuals so i invest in photography because if you're an online person like me you're not there to hold the product in mm -hmm. physical. So portray what the product has, the features the product has, in the visuals for whoever that is scrolling on their phones. But then the moment my pictures are out, you see that friends and family are just sharing, commenting, and then the love for the products has been overwhelming. I say that because you buy one and you are eager to buy again because of the quality. Generally, as an industry, creatives, do you feel that we're getting the needed support that we need to get as an industry to make it more vibrant than it is such that you don't have to struggle too much in terms of resources and raw materials to be able to produce? Well, I think it's been progressive because when I started five years ago, it was very bad for me. I had to literally dash bags to people just so I can get feedbacks mm -hmm. because they won't buy. The, the first question they ask you, when did you come? Mm. Why should I choose you over a brand I've known all my life? So the acceptance for Africans or Ghanaians in general is very low when a new product, no matter how good or better that product is, the level of acceptance is not encouraging. So for me, 
the discovery yes acceptance was very low but then i made it a point to prove myself worth it and i think by the grace of god I'm, I'm, I'm on the right path, I might say. Well, this is the Kel Toothpaste PL Show, proudly brought to you by Kel Chuckle Toothpaste, Kel 360, and Kel Kids. You know that with a Kel Chuckle, uh, Gertrude, I'm sure, would know. Uh, back in the day, they used to grind charcoal and put the plantain peduncle to give us that white teeth uh, that most of you have today. But um, those days of hard work, long gone now, we have Kel Charcoal Toothpaste that gives you that same effect. We also have the Kel 360 Toothpaste, gives you that fresh minty breath all day long and also very safe for family use and the Kel Kids Toothpaste. Kel is always a happy smile. Well, get you, you inspire by all standards. Knowing the background, let's talk about growing up and how you would say it's made you who you are uh, today. I'm laughing because everybody who knows me knows I'm a creative, even from infancy. I think mine is inherent. And by the grace of God, my parents help and expand it or discover it more. I remember in JHS, we, we didn't, I didn't grow up in Accra. I grew okay. up in Volta region. I schooled in Amazing Life Denu. My father is going to drive all the way to Denu to Accra Mall just to buy me the latest Crayola for painting. Yes, that's the kind of supportive family I have. And sometimes I feel if I wasn't born to them as a child, yes, I'm creative, but mm -hmm. to have been able to develop it as much as I have, you know, art is very expensive. Even the study of art is very expensive. Very. I remember when I was in Takrade, reading textiles is expensive. Like we were one of the richest students because most, most of the times money, a lot of money goes into our particles and all of that. And mom and dad stood to make sure that I become what I wanted to become in art. And I didn't hide my talents. I remember doing birthdays for family members. I would sketch you, even though it didn't look like the actual people then. I was still making the effort. I like to sketch, to paint. So my sketch for style started way back. So I think my my exposure, the, the kind of space my parents gave me to grow as a child helped me identify that this is who I am and this is what I love to do. And I can say profoundly that that has given me more of them you know, when you're doing something and your family supports you, especially your parents, even when the thing is not so good, the way they cheer you on alone gives you... You're a, your number one cheerleaders. You know, and mm. that's what my parents have been, and they created the, the most conducive environment for me to grow as an artist. There are younger ones that are in that state. They are creatives, but parents would want them to be doctors, be lawyers, amongst others. There are, there are people like that, and as they watch you now, as a discovery, as we celebrate a phenomenal lady like you, um, you would want to spare them on in terms of where they are now and where they, they want to be. Looking at me today, I'm here because mom and dad, I would mention their names again because I owe it to them, Reverend Dr. and Mrs. Aumi, for giving me the most conducive environment to grow as an artist. Sometimes when your kids are growing up, study them. Notice what they pick interest in and what they do not pick interest in. Get the child's dreams or get the child's interest and develop on it. Because I feel that as a human being, you should be able to harness or become better at what you do. And what you do can either be inherent like mine or you grow with it, develop it along the way. So that is it. Thank you very much once again, Gertrude um, Aume. Uh, we're grateful for your time here on the Kill Toothpaste PO Show and being our discovery for today. And we we'll leave you with a beautiful package uh, from the Kill Toothpaste. We have the Kill Chuckle, I've been telling you about it. We have the Kill 360 and the Kill Kit. And whilst you are in the workshop, we want to keep flies away from you. So mosquitoes and houseflies will be a thing of the past. We give this to you as well from the Samara Company Limited. I think if anybody brushes their teeth more than me in my house, then there's, there's trouble. Oh, then. So this is just a, the perfect package you could give me. And I'm grateful to Kel for this. I love it. Thank you so much uh, for being a part of the show <laughs> today. We are grateful. That's Akusia Jimfua. I would take the Gertrude away for today. <laughs> <laughs> Akusia Jimfua has been our discovery for today. She's the creative director, CEO, founder of Trudy Art and Craft. And she's on all social media platforms, so do well uh, to patronize her products as well. This is the Kill Toothpaste appeal show. We're right back with our second discovery. Please stay with us. Rush, 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 rush. Rush, rush, rush.
Hello, my friends. My name is Calcate Toothpaste. Wow. I was made to be gentle on your gum, but protected. I will protect your teeth from cavity, make your teeth whiter, stronger, keep your mouth fresh all day. And best of all, I'm strawberry flavored. So put on a smile and try me. That's amazing. Just try me. That's my job. If you say so, jump on my brush. brush. Make your teeth stronger, chicky chicky whiter, chicky chicky stronger. Yay! You did it! I'm glad you like your new toothpaste. Don't forget to brush both day and night. Girl kids, happy smile. Welcome back. This is the Kill Toothpaste PL Show, and it's my second dose of discovery for today. And uh, the second dose. More like we'll be drinking as well because I have the CEO of Pearls, Petals, and Syrups. Pearl Yaira Dodu. Welcome to the Kelto Face PL Show. Thank you so much, MFA. Petals and Syrups. I've been thinking about it. Okay, Petals and Syrups. What a combination. Tell me about it. How we, we arrived at the name Petals and Syrups. So, Petals and Syrup is basically 100% hibiscus juice. And so the petals came from the hibiscus petals, mm -hmm. and then the syrup came up with um, our sobolo is not a regular sobolo, that's just the spice. We have sobolo in grape, sobolo in pineapple, sobolo in honey and mint, mm -hmm. sobolo in strawberry. So the syrup is from that aspect. Mm. So that is how come we have petals and syrup, okay. because it's the leaves and the syrups. Okay, how long have we been doing this? Um, we've been doing this for two years. Tell me a bit more about yourself. I attended Methodist Girls Senior High School in Mount McGee. Yes. <laughs> and then from there, um, I went to IPMC. So I hold honors in, in graphic and web designing. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I went to Legon. I studied Bachelor of Arts and Humanities. Mm -hmm. Yes. And with all the humanities, you want a lot of money because most people will say that when they branch from that yeah. is because of the money yeah. is it petals and syrup didn't start on the whole money idea okay. petals and syrup it wasn't even something i actually ever thought of mm. so we're having a program in church personally i never liked hibiscus juice for what it was because okay. there was always something wrong with it either mm. too spicy there was always something wrong or too sugary or too sugary there was always something wrong with it for me and so they needed someone to make hibiscus juice. The person who normally made it was not available. So they said I should do it. It was out of the blue. But then I still went ahead. So I, because I don't like spices, I went ahead and did it without the spices. And I was like, okay, I think these people were doing it wrong for me. So I took it without the spices and they liked it. But I hadn't started with the grape, the pineapple. It was just bland, like plain. And every Sunday they asked me, won't you do the sobolo? And I'm like, oh no, I don't sell sobolo. <laughs> <laughs> and then the pressure was too much so then I decided to actually sit down and do something properly because I'm not very known for doing things just anyhow so we started with very different pouches from the beginning before we graduated to these ones and then hopefully we'll be unveiling a new set it started as um, a mobile bar for events so we started in February and then in March there was COVID oh. so I had to re-strategize and then bring out these ones because it still had to go out whether there was COVID or not. So that was when I went online trying to find packages that were safe for the product. I mean, for shelf life and all of those things. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I did that and then I came up with something and then it went out. I think that COVID was our highest point for petals and syrup in the sense that people were being motivated to, encouraged to boost their immune system with the hibiscus juice and so demand was high people were customizing their own sobolo i don't take sugar so can you give me honey i don't take this so can you give me this so i can say that during covid it was like a very it was like a peak period that's interesting well thankfully um i got a bit of a 360 of you in action so it takes us to the 360 segment on the Kel Toothpaste PL show, brought to you by Kel 360 Toothpaste. Let's get into Pearls 360.
Pearl Dodu is the brain behind Pearl's Petals and Cereal, a healthy hibiscus juice with natural fruit and flavors that bring your taste buds alive. Pearl attended Methodist Girls Senior High School. She's also a graduate from the University of Ghana, Ligon. Until the world was hit by COVID, Petals and Syrup began as a mobile bar before the owner, Pell, introduced the juice pouches so the drink could still be easily assessed by all amidst the COVID restrictions. Wow. So this is where we are. What exactly are we doing to, you know, diversify? As a noun, we have Sobolo in five different flavors. So we have in grape, pineapple, strawberry, honey and mint, and then the traditional, which I call Sankofa. So it was a little limited for people because during events, people want every other thing aside Sobolo in five flavors. So due to demand, we introduced the corn and caramel juice, which we call Asana. Which Asana, <laughs> corn and caramel. Exactly. No? And then <laughs> we introduced our pineapple and mint, but we're still working on the other local drinks. local spices But sizes different packaging. Hey. There are people who don't like the whole ginger idea. People like me. Imagine having a bowl of ufobia with the ufobia in Kakra B. Now, you can't be cool with that one. You can't be cool with Sometimes I have a clothes gym. I'm going to have a gym. Yes, 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 yes. You need something to cool you down. Oh, and so okay. that was the whole idea behind it. Notwithstanding the fact that, say, Obi pe Edrona. Exactly, yeah. I can always make okay. that available yeah, for okay. you, yeah. It takes me to the point about where you're hoping to take pearls, petals, and syrups to let's say in the next two, three to five years? Well, the hope is to have it as a household name. Mm. That is the baseline. I think that um, our growth has been steady. And so we are hoping to keep up the same pace. So hopefully in the next five years, mm. You say you met me two years ago. Yes, so I'll, I know you, <laughs> I beg, I know you. But you see, <laughs> is it challenging? I would not say it's it's an easy thing because now everybody has this expectation of you. Mm. So there are very little um, nights where you can sleep now because every time you're thinking about what's the next move for the business because you can't get to a point and just drop. The, the whole idea is just to keep going higher and higher and higher. So it's, it's been pretty challenging, especially with packaging. Well, I've heard a lot of people talk about the health benefits of drinking red tea or hibiscus juice, but I'm sure that as part of your production and all, you've gone deeper yeah. into what the benefits are and why I ought to, you know. Yes, yeah, uh, so um, for the hibiscus juice, I know um, it helps with headaches a lot. I used to struggle with headaches. So I realized I, I stopped having very severe headaches or unusual headaches. And for women, I know it's very helpful with our stuff, mm. like time of the month, issues with time of the month and everything. And for men, I have not, I have not probed further, but, yeah, but the, little, but that you the know. little I know, I know that with the local one for the men, it helps with um, fertility as well. Okay. Let's talk about family support, mm. because knowing that you, you've gone to school and then I'm sure mommy or daddy had some plans, and then all of a sudden, who is Can I hold it? Well, How um, did they take it? They thought I was, it was just one of those things that I was doing, and it would fade away, like the interest to fade away. So my mom is the type who just let you have your way, I mean. So from her, I think that I had very good support. I mean, we're tasting the stuff as well. When I make anything new, she's the first person to taste it. What do you think? Oh, take this out reduce this, that sort of a thing. But with my siblings, they actually 
took it seriously when people were giving them feedback. People who had tried, because initially, when I started, because it is new, I realized what I realized about the um, the Ghanaian people is we don't like to try new stuff. Yeah. So I had to do like sampling. Like I know a friend who works here, and then I take ten packs, and then I tell them, oh, please, just for feedback, you don't have to pay. Some people were gracious enough to say, oh, I'm going to pay for it, but some people do take it and give you very honest reviews. Mm -hmm. So there are people who were calling my siblings and telling them that I think what your sister is doing really make sense, wow. and so. My brother texted me, I hear you're making some interesting sobolo. He wasn't in the country at the time. And so good job. I mean, oh. but he knew. I had told him what I was up to. But then, so I think that it was reviews from people that actually got them on board. That's interesting. There are people out there who would want to be like a Pel Yaya Dudu, for instance. And it's a good time to let them know that it's, it's never too late for that to happen. It all starts from innovation. Because one thing I have come to understand is there's nothing new under the sun. We've always had Sobolo, I mean, since time in memorial. Yeah. But what will make you remember my Sobolo is because I am doing something different with it. And so I would want to encourage that you think outside the box. And you also need the very right people around you because you can have the dream, but without the right people around you, it remains a dream because I started with very little or no confidence with what I was doing. But it just took like a word from one person, a very good friend of mine. He was like, this is good. You have to go out with it. Mm -hmm. And and so, yeah, I would say that consider the um, the people around you, your circle. Okay. So, Sobolo in five flavors. Yeah. Which one is my... This, oh, thank you. I have grapes. So... Um, it's time for my tasting yes. of pearls, petals, and syrup. Have a good shake. You have pineapple. Yeah. I'll help you with that as well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you just have a good shake and it clicks. So it means that it's sealed yes. under very hygienic conditions. So do I have a bit of spices in there? No. Just grapes. Just grapes. Okay. Mm. Wait. <laughs> mm. Okay. Try over with the pineapple. <laughs> so, wow. So where can I get it? So you can find us on social media on mm -hmm. Instagram, petals underscore and underscore syrup. Mm. And on Facebook, petals and syrup. It's a tradition here that as a phenomenal lady and the strides that you're making, we give you a parting gift. I give you uh, the kale charcoal toothpaste. It gives you white teeth. Uh, you know, they used to give us charcoal, mm -hmm. grind it and then brush our teeth. Now you don't have to do that again. You just have to use a kale charcoal toothpaste. And then we have the kale 360 and then we have the kale kit. So this is from us to you. Okay, so I want to say a very big thank you. I mean, I really appreciate this. I'm glad now I can use Kale Chaco toothpaste. Yeah. And I think my nieces will think I'm the best auntie in the world because I brought them <laughs> toothpaste from <laughs> Kale. From Kale. And thank you so much. I really appreciate this. This means much. Thank you so much uh, you so for much. being a part um, of the show. And that's Pale Yayira Dodu, my second dose of discovery for today. Thank you so much. And uh, that's our show uh, for today. Let me hold this one before CC comes in. <laughs> And that's it uh, for the Kill Toothpaste PL show today. Always brought to you by Kill Chuckle, Kill 360, and Kill Kids uh, Toothpaste, where Kill is always a happy smile. Another exciting edition of the Kill Toothpaste PL show comes your way. From the entire crew, we say thank you so much for being a part of our show today. Make sure you visit all our social media platforms. Please do and like, subscribe, and share, and spread the word as well. Thanks for your company. Love is sweet, pass so below, so below, so below the sweet. I would not come up commemorate paint smiling, mommy, Joshi, faint, crumb, crumb, radio, saint, on Pentoqua.